What's up guys? Um, I actually just reviewed this guy and I was going to do it with a different figure when I was going to do this little spiel but I figured this is my first third party review so I might as well get this out of the way, out of the way now. I just want to talk for a minute about third parties and what you know who they are, what they do and why and the kind of controversy around them. So a few years ago companies like iGear, TFC Toys, Fan Project um, there's dozens of them now, but um, they found, they figured out that Hasbro wasn't giving people what they wanted as far as Transformers. They're kind of doing what the hell they wanted. And they said, let's get in on that. So we have things like TFC, Hercules, who is an homage to Devastator. We have iGear, uh, Rager, uh, Shafter, who is an homage to Erector. And these toys will not, will not come out from Hasbro. You really think Hasbro is going to put out another Erector who is a little one-off character that they just made a toy out of is never in any shows or anything? No. Third parties will. So, there's a kind of a controversy. Um, some people don't like third parties because they say it's not Hasbro, it's not official, therefore it's not Transformers. My school of thought this is just me, if you happen to follow that path and you don't like third party because it's not Hasbro and you follow that, totally cool, totally fine, your opinion, yours, it's your money, spend it the way you want it, the way you want to, you don't have to buy third party stuff, you can buy whatever the heck you want, but as far as I'm concerned, I am not a fan of Hasbro, I am a fan of Transformers, so therefore whoever gives me the best Transformers, that's who I'm going to go with, plain and simple. Hasbro is not going to give us a classic Devastator that looks actually like Devastator. You got the Revenge of the, Fall, Revenge of the Fallen Devastator that looks like ass. And then you got the classic Devastator that came out that also looks like ass. They're never going to give us a G1 accurate Devastator. They're never going to give us any Devastator that doesn't look like crap. TFC Toys did. I mean, obviously it's not him. I'm pointing at him, but... TFC Toys did. Maki Toys did. So what's the problem? That's just, I mean, it's just my opinion, but seriously, all they're doing is making the characters that we want. I know it's not official Hasbro, therefore it's not really a Transformer, but let's be real here. This guy is awesome. Most of the third-party stuff is awesome. It's all higher quality than anything Hasbro will give us. Yes, it's more expensive because their runs are a lot smaller, but the quality of the plastic is far better. We're getting die-cast figures, which Hasbro will not do just because of the logistics and the money involved with it. It's just too expensive for them to do that kind of stuff. It's totally understandable, but why not buy what's out there? Just my opinion. You can take that for what it is. If you want to keep collect if you don't want to collect third party because it's third party and it's not really Hasbro, it's not really Transformers, cool. Totally awesome. Hopefully you still watch my videos. Hopefully you still like me. Just throwing it out there. That way, if anybody, if I start reviewing third-party stuff and people say, Oh, well, why are you doing that? It's not really Transformers. Point you to this video. You can hear what I have to say. Take it for what it is. Just my two cents.